Instead of having to flip the pin back over, click the button and then drag like that, I have this button also programmed as my grab. So when my pin's like this, I can use it and grab, but if I'm using my eraser and I want to come in and erase some stuff, I can hold this button and move the picture. So it's basically programmed for the same function, so you can come in here and, you know, erase stuff and uh, move the picture around to wherever you want it. Or if you want to come back in and draw, you can grab the picture by pushing that button and then let go of it and basically come back in and draw, you know, whatever you want to do. So, um, <clears throat> now another nice thing, feature here, is that when you're working with images, oftentimes you'll want to use various layers to create uh, either depth or, um, you know, various different things. So, now if you want to zoom back out, let's go back out just a little bit and kind of play around with this real quick. Alright, so typically what I'll do is I'll go to one uh, fit the screen so it comes back in. So, on the secondary layer, I'm just kind of playing around here. And the cool part about this is if you're inking stuff and you want to see your outline or various different layers, you can deactivate layers, okay? So, or you can reactivate and just see parsh partial layers if you want. And, um... The nice thing, let me open up another image here actually that I've been um, working on. This is not originally my image, but I wanted to see how well I could transpose actual pictures. So I picked up an anime picture online, downloaded it, and just decided to go over the image itself. Um, let me strip down all my layers so you can see the original picture here. This is. Now another cool thing is using the scroll function over here. There's one on either side. Um, if your mouse is over or your uh, stylus is over this area, it's going to zoom in on this area. Okay. Now if you're if you have a ton of layers, which I don't have, you know, maybe 10 or 12 here. Um, but if you put the stylus over your list and use the scroll wheel, you can scroll up and down in your list there instead of having to come over here because the edge of this pen if you try to get right up on the top and bottom and left and right edges you're gonna have trouble because it's it's doesn't completely go all the way like it's supposed to um, because there's a small variance for some reason um, anyway um, so that's a nice function so if you just put your pen uh, your stylus over that you can scroll up and down and so basically what I'm trying to get back to here is this is original image so there's the artist and everything um, let me zoom in here a little bit um, this was just a practice run for me so I wanted to see um, if I could recreate this using uh, the tablet so what I did is I came in and I did and uh, brought my opacity down to around 40 or 50 percent okay and then created a new layer um, in which case I came in and I did an outline okay as you can see there came in and outlined the picture and then I went in and added my and insert colors and then eyes and skin tones um, hair various layers like that okay so there we have a good representation um, what I want to do is remove the original image now so the original image is gone as you can see if I take out these various layers you can see the different colorations and stuff like that and then I came in and added a white background and there you have it so I came in with my free hand you know, did free hand and traced the image and then came in and painted everything by hand using the stylus with this uh, tablet so um, extremely nice uh, I've done a lot of graphics over the years and stuff but I haven't used a tablet in years I haven't really had a great deal of need for it but I wanted to get back to my freehand drawing again and start doing artwork uh, freehand again and this is just really going to be I think an amazing tool for me um, like I said it's kind of pricey um, you can buy a regular tablet you use with your laptop or desktop computer for 60 or 70 bucks um, but uh, this is nice because like I said it's portable you can move it around and do your work pretty much anywhere you want so and I have my keys set up um, inside the program like I said I can save I can redo I can undo I can move the image copy paste cut stuff like that just by having these programmed properly um, the, the stylus itself has uh, 1024 1024 points of pressure recognition so you come into an image 
And here, let's, um, I'm just going to do something in black here. Let's uh, take the uh, size of my brush up just a little bit. So if I'm going to come in here and kind of do a light, you know, light strokes or whatever, I can come in and do real heavy strokes. So as you can see, the, the amount of pressure that you put on the pen is going to determine how thick and deep and everything that your um, <coughs> image stuff is, so or your strokes are, basically. So you can That's see there's a lot of depth in here, and this is all one layer, okay? This is one layer on the side right there. Um, but you're typically you're going to want to create multiple layers and do your layering and you know your imaging and, and stuff like that. But I did this all on a single layer, and that's pretty darn good. I mean, there's a lot of depth in the clouds and stuff like that, and in the background of the sky. I haven't finished the waves yet. I've got to put you know put the actual wave curls and stuff in there. So, but it's just something I'm just experimenting with this right now and kind of testing it out to make sure that it's uh, something I'm going to want to keep. Um, but, and I think that it is, it's a very, very useful item. So, um, now as I said, I've got my keys programmed. Um, so if I wanted to save that, but if I want to exit out of a program, I just simply click right there and it's out. Okay, now um, another piece of software that you can use for this, I've got a program right there, is Corel Painter 4 Essentials, which also came with this. And um, this software is pretty much like, um, you can uh, photo painting, um, existing file, video, watch video, stuff like that. Um, but if you go into drawing and painting and create a new image, then it's basically the same thing. You have a canvas to work with here. You can do very light strokes. You can do a little more heavy strokes. You can, you know, come in and do shading. And so you already see that kind of blur, you know, it does a smudge tool based on that. So it's really, it's like having a free hand you know, oil paints and stuff like that right in front of you. So, anyway, um, I'm going to go in and undo stuff like that. So, oh, I don't have this one. Um, oh, go try to open a different program. Anyway, so uh, <clears throat> there's that. And then another thing um, that I'm going to be working with that I've just purchased is. Um, I don't have my serial number put in there yet, but um, is uh, Anime Studio Pro 6. Um, so that's uh, another reason that I bought this tablet is so that I could work with that software and do animations and stuff. But um, So there you have it basically on the overall scale of things. Uh, it's a very nice um, item and uh, I'm going to test it out for probably another week and decide because uh, they do have a 21 inch which is not portable it pretty much has to be mounted it's not something you can pick up and take with you and I needed something that I could be portable to go with my MacBook so if I'm on the road or um, with a client or something I can draw out sketches and do stuff right there on the spot and um, <laughs> basically what I would do is have my MacBook in standby have everything in the bag, pull out the power plug, plug in the power, pull this out, and you're set to go. You don't want to have to drag everything out, so you could just pull this out, plug the power in, and you got a six and a uh, half foot cable to work with. So, so it is uh, some portability there, and I uh, really like the fact that I can take it and put it in my lap and draw and stuff like that. So, um, anyway, I don't know what else to say at this point. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick initial review of this. Uh, I may go back and do an unboxing and a full review showing all the accessories and everything that it came with. Um, the stylus, um, the airbrush one, this uh, will, will run you anywhere from $75 to $100. They have another one that's called the Art Pen. It has a thicker uh, uh, tip on the end of it. and It's kind of a fatter brush to work with and stuff and then they come with little stands and stuff. These do not use batteries. Um, there's a small microchip in there that when it gets within range of the uh, surface of the screen, see like right now it's not going to move anything, but as soon as I get close to the screen it's going to move it around. This is good because it prevents you from accidentally doing stuff. So anyway, um, okay, there you have it. Um, if you guys want more information on this, then uh, let me know. I'll try to do another video here at some point in the future, but I just wanted to give you a basic review. It's the uh, Wacom uh, Cintiq 12WX Graphic Digital Tablet. Um, hope this video helped you out. If it did, please post a comment. If not, Pogue Mahone, and as usual, thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help. Skills to a brother named Nish.